this is the backyard. This is where we spend lots of time. But lately, because of Sadie, our German Shepherd, we've just kind of been on the inside, even though it's been a winter. Yes, in Alabama, it's usually a lot warmer in the winter time. And here comes Sadie now. She's a rescue. We love her, Sadie, the German Shepherd, and that's Harley, the Yorkie. They are brother and sister. This is under my deck where I plan on making this into a summer time oasis of fun. If you can do that. <laughs> We have lots and lots of animals that are in and out, but I do try to make it pretty and tropical looking. So this is going to be interesting to see how far I can really get. We, this is empty. Earlier in the video, I had a ton of flowers there in the garage. Actually, more than a ton, two tons. Uh, They've been inside since the, the, it got so cold. We had a surprise snow. I think it was December 8th. And my stuff was still outside. So on that snow, I had a lot of stuff out here by the pool that didn't make it. So this is my challenge to get around out here. We had the fence replaced and so it's time to start raking and cutting and planting and pulling and getting stuff ready for summertime and pool parties and family over. It's a lot of work. Uh, people say, oh I'd like a house with a pool. It's a lot of work. Um, I have lots of banana trees and things that come up so uh, that's what you're seeing that's dead. So I'm hoping that I can get back here and do some magic. I'm just an old country girl that learned how to grow stuff from her mama. I don't, you know, don't really know sometimes if I'm going to succeed or not. But this is my little homestead and I make it as beautiful as possible. So hang in here with me. And I will, this is step one. Then we'll have step two when we finally get everything out. And it's pretty clear that we're not going to have any more frost. I have a deck upstairs off of the den that I make really pretty too with all kinds of flowers and pillows and chairs and the little awning up there so we have a beautiful home and this is my favorite time of the year cleaning and getting all this stuff out so if you hang in here with me I will post on to my YouTube channel which is this is new to me so bear with me and uh, we'll see what we can come up with here out right and now I've got to cut this stuff back um, these tall green things right here those are day lilies and they're just absolutely gorgeous now these little bitty green things over here I don't know what to call them it's not monkey grass and it's weird because a little bitty flower sprouts up in the fall just the flower this green stuff grows in the spring dies off and then around September sometime up comes the pretty little red flower I think they call it a spider lily so that's what that is so I've got to cut those back 
that tall grass right there. I uh, bought that last year at a um, clearance section at Walmart, and it was half dead. And but it, when it grows, it's really purple and it's beautiful. So it grew back a little bit. And then I've got a climbing vine, Chlamydias, purple. It goes all the way up the mailbox. So it sprouted out just a little tiny bit. And my hyacinth, if I'm saying that cor correctly, is all sprouted up. And uh, as I was raking, I broke one off. It was so pretty. So this is... This is what it looks like raked. I'm going to get in here now and cut and trim and get back the, the dead stuff and see what I can do to thin it out. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to plant some dahlias. And this is the border mix. They were $5 at Walmart and it takes full sun. And that's what happens right here, full sun. So we'll see how this works. So I'll be back. Okay, it's all raked out. Everything that needed to be pulled up is gone. We cut off the little green things for the little spider lilies. You can still kind of see their stumps where I cut them off. There's several little green things growing, and I think those are daffodils, so I left those alone not real sure about my purple grass. I don't see any shoots or sprouts coming up from that, so I'm going to give it a little fertilize and see if that helps. Hey, neighbor. I also dug around the flower bed. It may be hard to see, but this centipede grass grows so fast and it's easier to kind of dig it out and get a little trench in between the garden divider. So it is dug out and we're going to plant our flowers now. Hey everybody, this is Nancy. I am going to try to finish up this video on uh, the flowers I'm planting in my yard uh, in Alabama in the springtime. It's on one day and off the next. So right now Mother Nature's taking a break and we're off again. And I've moved all my plants back into the garage. and So it's going to take me a little while to make sure that we don't have another freeze. I kind of covered up the things that I had planted already just to make sure that they don't get a frost bit. But usually this time of the year, right before spring break, we have something called blackberry winter. And that's a cold snap right before spring break. And we have um, a little bit of time, I think. As long as we get things in the ground before Good Friday, we're pretty good on that that aspect of it but um, what I'm trying to do is break my videos up in this um, whole series is so that I have different parts of my yard so that you don't have to sit through you know five hours of me working in my yard so this first section is just an introduction and the very uh, scope of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to break it up, like I said, into sections. And um, I, in this video, I included um, the front yard uh, flower bed where I have my mailbox. And so um, I got all of that done. And I repeated myself several times. And I said, uh, and to plant the flowers, and to plant the flowers. So what I did is I planted the bulbs, actually, instead of the flowers. I got the um, ones that Walmart that uh, showed you, and it's a border mixed dahlia, and it's a, a smaller flower, but it is still lower to the ground, and it is for full sun. And basically, um, here in Alabama, I think we're in zone three, and it says anywhere from March to April, you know, that time frame, you're good to plant. But I'm going to give it another week before I put anything else 
in the ground and I'm going to plant some uh, peonies, a uh, peonies, however how you pronounce that. Um, but I'm gonna wait till next week and that'll be the second part of my series of me working in my yard. So I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll even take a thumbs down, but if you do, tell me what you don't like about it. And maybe I can make a change. This is all new for me, and um, it's fun. It's interesting. And being retired now, I have plenty of time to learn new stuff. So uh, I'm going to sign off now with a, a quote from John Lennon. And it's very, very true to life. It says, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. So, step out there and take a hold of life and have a good one.